and specifically we're going to be diving into using templates in a CRM of some sort to make it as easy as possible. What is up guys, it is DJ Rick Webb of Fusion Sound and Lighting. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about business, running your DJ business. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the process of sending brochures, contracts, proposals, invoices, the general paperwork stuff that you deal with with booking a client. And specifically, we're gonna be diving into using templates in a CRM of some sort to make it as easy as possible. So first things first, we gotta talk about CRMs. A CRM is a client relations manager. And uh, this is a software, there are tons of them out there. DJ Event Planner is one of them. You got Cloverbook, and then there's a Honeybook, which is the one that I use and that you guys have seen me show a little bit on this channel. And that's what we're gonna be using for a lot of the examples in today's video. So what a CRM allows you to do is to have all sorts of templates and the ability to send those templates to clients within a few clicks. So again, a CRM allows you to manage all of your clients. You can basically go through and you can categorize all your clients. And then you also have templates beyond that that you can basically send a client a contract specific to them in like two clicks because you have it set up in a template. Same thing with an invoice, same thing with a brochure, etc. So let's talk about the process of getting a new client. The first thing you're gonna do with a new client is you're gonna send them some sort of brochure because they're gonna to wanna to know your pricing, they're gonna to wanna to know what you offer, so you're gonna to wanna to send them some sort of brochure. So this is my HoneyBook dashboard right here and we're inside of the template section of the software, the online software. So as you can see, invoices, contracts, proposals, brochures, questionnaires, packages, lots of templates. You can even set up all kinds of email templates to make like communication even easier for you. But we're specifically talking about kind of the forms in here. So brochures is the first thing you're gonna send. So I have a lot of different brochures. So we're gonna dive into brochures. So as you can see here on the left hand side, I have a few different brochures. I have one for just general events. I have a weddings add-ons only. I have a wedding DJ only. I have a wedding full brochure that shows DJing and add-ons. And then I have a couple of just general ones, like this is the two that HoneyBook gave me generally. And then I have this one right here, which is just a blank one that you guys can get if you download HoneyBook. We'll talk about that at the end, but basically all the forms that I show you guys in this, if you guys click the link and establish a free trial on HoneyBook, you guys can also get all of these forms and you can see exactly how I use HoneyBook. This is my brochure. I have three different packages on here. I left the pricing out because Pricing should be relative to your area. Pricing is different all across America and you should be basing it based on what's the going rate in your area, not based on what I charge. All of this is laid out here into a nice clean brochure. The beauty of this is that this takes like two clicks to send a client a brochure. You get a new lead, you put them in HoneyBook, you click new file, send brochure. The first thing you're gonna do is send them a brochure and HoneyBook makes that super easy and this is what CRMs do. Make it super easy to send them a brochure, a nice clean looking brochure that's laid out in a nice clean fashion. You can customize this, you can add pictures, you can add elements. Like if I go down to the bottom here, um, if I click the little add here, we can add different columns. You can add two column text, two images, left the line. You get the idea, you can customize these to your liking. After you've sent a client a brochure, the next logical step is you meet with them or you pitch them or you sell them and now it's actually time to book them. So the process of booking, you can do it multiple different ways. So you can just send them a general invoice and send them a general contract. And there's templates in here for both of those if you guys want to get them. The thing that I like about HoneyBook is there's an option to send them a proposal. And the beauty of a proposal is like it says right here, it is an invoice, it is a contract and payment all together. So let's look at it. So this right here is the proposal. The first page right here is your invoice. And you can add any item into your here very simply. You click that item name and it's going to generate all the things that I just put in. So as you start using the software, the more uh, invoices and proposals that you make, every time you create one, it's going to save that entry. So if you create one that says up lighting and say it's $225 and you add like a little description for uh, like five up lights is this much amount of money. I'm just making this up. Say you put a picture with it. It's going to save that and then you can pull it up later. Like right here is half venue up lighting. So if I click that, 
It's gonna automatically generate it. It's gonna say the description, 12 up lights washing out the wall. It's gonna instantly put it in there. So if I click add new item here, you can go into templates and there's an area for packages. Down here below, we already have pre-made packages. So the essential package, the love story package, the signature package, all of these are already pre-made so that I can just add them in very easily to the invoice. Like I said, to make things as quick as possible to get this contract out. Even if you don't, it's super simple to just go in, type in a, a description, have up light. You can click here to add a photo. You can pull your whole library of photos. But even if you don't have those already set up, it's super easy to go in here and just say, um, say DJ package one. And then you go down to description, uh, speakers, lighting. Then you can put a quantity, if there's a quantity associated to it, like lighting, a unit, uh, item, hours. You can put your hours in here. And then you can type in your price. And if there's a tax applied, you can put the little tax button and it'll apply taxes, etc. You can put a discount down at the bottom. That's your invoice. It's a general, simple invoice creator. The next portion of it is the scheduled payments. So you can create basically what their payment structure is. Again, you can save this as a payment template. So I have like one for weddings, one for invoices. And basically, so you click here, the amount, you can set a custom amount, a percentage uh, divided equality. Uh, percentage is most commonly used, a custom amount. You can describe when, so you can do all kinds of things based on the invoice date, based on the project date, a fixed date, custom, and you can do as many payments as you want. So you can set up all the structure of what the client has to pay, and the contract will automatically generate based on the total of the invoice, it'll automatically generate. So say you want a fixed $300 deposit first, you click that down, and then say you want the first payment to be 50% of the invoice. And then the last payment is what is the remainder of that? And you can set basically right here, we got custom one month before project date, uh, two weeks before project date. And like I said, you guys can get this template if you guys want. You can also set up a reoccurring payment. That's not really something structured for us, but that's besides the point. So you set this up in the template of what the payment structure is. You set up your invoice. Say you have a standard invoice for a majority of your events and then you just add add-ons to it. You can set that up ready to go or you can do what I do, which is pretty much leave it blank and then I add in packages when I create these. So you got your invoice segment, you got your payment structure right here that you set up in this template and then you have the client contract and the client contract, you set up all of these fields as well. So you can set up the project location, the client field name, so that these automatically generate into the contract. Client's full name, client's full name. This is really awesome because all of this is a template. When you send this out to a client, you have it set up so that basically all of these fields automatically generate all the information. So you really never have to go in, you never have to tweak the contract um, unless you need to for a specific reason, but your payment structure is there, your client's contract is already there, and your invoice is already there. So all you gotta do is put in the little details on the invoice and click send and they have a complete invoice contract ready to sign. So I wanted to demonstrate how powerful proposals are because they're by far my favorite thing in HoneyBook and we're gonna spend a little bit more time on them than other things because it's pretty much everything. It's invoices, contracts, payments. You will be able to send an email. You can send whatever text you want above this. At the bottom of the email though, it's gonna have a view proposal link. So you click the view proposal. So right here is the proposal as a client would see it. So at the top there, we got the invoice. I slapped in one of my packages right here. So you got the signature package. You guys can look through it if you want. There is the scheduled payments that we talked about. So the $300 down deposit that's due today. Then we got one month away from the event. We are 50% of the invoice is due. And then the remainder is due two weeks before the event. So if I like the proposal, I like what I see here, I'm gonna click continue to contract if I'm the client. So now as the client, I can see the contract, I can review it, it's got some highlighted fields that I need to fill out, so I need to fill out my initial, my initial here, I need to also fill in my full name here, and it won't let me go on until I've done this. So I can do all of that, again, payments are at the bottom. All right, so I went through and I filled out all the forms as well as clicking the click the sign here at the bottom. Really simple, easy electronic signature. It generates one for you. So like I said, HoneyBook makes this super easy for you as a business owner as well as making it super easy for your client. After they've looked over the invoice, they've signed the contract, 
it takes them directly to the payment window where they can enter in their name on their card, their credit card, or they can just defer and send me a check or cash and I can go in and manually set this or they can PayPal me, etc. It makes it super easy for them so that once they do it right there, they get out their credit card, they fill in their information, and then their payment is done. And back here on the home screen as we just go to, it notifies me that the project has been signed so then I can go in as the DJ and sign the contract as well. And this is just a little side note on HoneyBook because this is what I use and everything, but when you set up that payment structure like that and they sign the proposal and they agree to the proposal, HoneyBook will take care of notifying them of when their payments are due. Like I think it notifies them three days before their payment's due, and it notifies them the day that it's due, and then if they don't pay it on the day it's due, it also reminds them again. They take care of handling, reminding your clients of when payments are due. And since doing HoneyBook, I have never had a client miss their payment because it, it automatically tells them and it automatically, when it sends them that email that says click here to pay, it brings them to that credit card window, they can put in their credit card and they can just pay. Or they can actually set up to auto pay uh, when they do the first one, when they enter their credit card the first time, they can set it to auto pay at those next two uh, intervals. So that's actually really, really cool. But anyways, in terms of client forms, we pretty much covered it. So. When you get a client, you send them a brochure. You have a brochure template right there. It makes it super easy to send them. Once you are ready to book the client, you can send them an invoice, you can send them a contract. Those are in here. Or you can do my personal favorite and just send them a proposal and it takes care of everything. So there's other templates on here. I don't use questionnaires really. I don't use them actually at all. I might use one for like a review template here in a little bit, but I haven't implemented it yet. I do use packages, but those are all my pricing schemes, my packages, etc. You can create your own. Contact forms, those are for your website, so you can put a contact form on your website. Maybe I could dive into that into another video. Emails, as you can see, I have 104 templates and emails, so I have a lot of templates and emails, and that is used in my workflows. Workflows is a super, super, super powerful thing. It's basically automated email systems that I've implemented into HoneyBook to take care of follow-up for me. And uh, that is something we will definitely be diving into in a separate video. One of the big reasons for doing this video was a lot of you guys asked me about contracts. What does my contract look like? What is a DJ contract? And I basically always tell you, just Google it. So HoneyBook recently reached out to me and made this super easy for you guys to get both my brochure, my proposal template, my invoice template, uh, my contract template, all those templates are super easy for you to get. So all you gotta do is click the link down below to HoneyBook to start your free trial. You can choose to sign up after that if you wish. I think you should definitely look into it and see how powerful the system is and see how easy it can make your life. You will instantly get access to all my templates when you click that link and sign up for your free trial. If you are one of the people that have already signed up to HoneyBook using my link and you want to get my templates as well, all you need to do is send an email to concierge at honeybook.com. It's right here, send them an email. All you need to do is tell them that you want DJ Rick Webb's templates and they will give you those templates. Anyways guys, another episode on DJ business talking about templates, contracts, proposals, invoices, contracts, brochures, all of the forms that we use in this industry as a business to basically uh, initial contact with our client brochure, then when they are ready to book or once we have sold them to book, we then send them a proposal, we send them a contract, an invoice, or a proposal all in one. They fill all that out and they are officially a client with us. And then you can actually go down the road and send them other brochures and try and upsell them with like an add-on brochure, etc. These are sort of the templates that we use on a daily basis. A CRM is a very powerful tool such as Cloverbook, HoneyBook as I've talked about, DJ Event Planner where you can establish templates for your contracts and all of those things to make it as easy as possible for you to get a new lead, send them a brochure as quickly as possible. Then when they're ready to book, to send them a contract, to send them an invoice as quick as possible. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys want me to dive into any other DJ business related topic, please leave them down in the comment section down below. As well as if you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. For some reason, the YouTube algorithm right now really appreciates it if, you get, if videos get a lot of thumbs up. So if you could slap a like, it really helps out the channel and really helps the channel grow. And on that note, if you're not already subscribed, sure to click that subscribe button. Yeah, you understand the whole blah, blah, blah. My name is DJ Requa of Fusion Sound and Lighting, my personal own company that I'm building. It's always great to talk to you guys. And like always, guys, keep the record spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.